Joining me live in the studio after celebrating their fifth straight win in the NRL, members of the, the Warriors, and i got to say they're the better looking ones as well, Glenn the Fish Fisiai, Peter Godney, and Dominic Peru. Hey boys, welcome to the show. Uh, first of all, because we want to get to know, you know, not just the player, we want to know the man as well. So if I can get you guys to come up to the mic each and just introduce yourselves, uh, tell us about your cultural background. Uh, and also, where did you grow up? Sweet, we'll start off with fish. <laughs> um, I'm from GI, born and bred in GI. Um, went to uh, school at Tamaki two years and did um, three years at um, Wizard College, um, age 23, born 1990. <laughs> um, at what time? And um, Tongan. Nice. Uh, Tongan. Peter? Yeah, um, I was born in Christchurch. Uh, come up when I was about seven years old. Um, was a junior at Maris Rugby League, then moved on to Richmond Rovers. Um, did my schooling at St Mary's in Avondale, then went on to St Paul's College, and then um, yeah, three siblings: Samoan, and I'm twenty. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um. Yeah, I was born in um, the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking not that one. Uh, no, I was brought up in Mangere, Mangere, and um, I played for Mangere East and uh, Odahu and Papatoi. I uh, moved to Australia when I was 15 and you know, done my schooling um, at Old Eta College. And um, yeah, went to Maddo, um, Matraville Sports High School in uh, Sydney. And, um, Moved up north to Sunshine, um, the sunny coast, um, Gold Coast, and and just uh, played for the Titans there. Now I'm back home, you know, to go forward. Your cultural uh, background, it's it's quite a mixed one, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, my mum is um, Samoan, Samoan Solomon. Uh, my dad is uh, Cook Island French, but people just think I'm Fijian for some reason, <laughs> <laughs> or Ethiopian. Or <laughs> uh, congratulations on the on the victory last night. Uh, is anyone carrying any any injuries uh, that we should be worried about? Because we saw uh, Manu limp off uh, during during the victory against the Broncos. But y you guys are saying it doesn't look that serious. Yeah, yeah. Manu just um, got a cork on a cork, I think, just below his knee, and it was probably one of those um, um, injuries that he couldn't really walk on. And apparently, the boys were like. Mocking him after the game when he was trying to pick up the ball and pass it. <laughs> man, I yeah. About my man Fisher, he was mocking him. Uh, yeah, Fisher, if we if we come back to you because you, you come from a, a proud league family and uh, your brothers played league as well. So uh, where do you fit in? The are you the youngest? And, yeah. And okay. how many of them are, are playing still playing league at the moment? I'm the youngest of eleven. Um, uh, no one's playing. Any sport at the moment, just no you? just working, yeah, just me, lonely place. Why are they working? I hear you make enough to <laughs> <laughs> to look after the whole family. That's 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 the story. Apparently, you're getting double what they're trying to offer Sam Tompkins to come over from Wigan. Is that I true? I wish, bro. I wish. Nah, dry it up over here, bro. <laughs> and Peter, um, Peter, because I've got to say congratulations on the extensions on the on the contracts as well. Because what were you doing before you um, you broke into into the Warriors? Um, I was working, I was picking and packing at Daniel Silver Logistics, just over here in Mangri as well. Um, went straight into that job uh, from school. Met a couple of friends while I was working there and um, also just, yeah, I was just working and then playing Vulcans as well. And they gave me a trial contract, two months trial contract, and they extended it for a year. And they extended it for another two years and now I'm getting another option for next year, so... Well, blessing so far. What a lot of people don't realise too is that um, you you're also a bit of a DJ as well, and you've been you've been you play uh, when when the boys travel, you take your your decks, your turntables with you as well. Oh, oh. I don't like to boast about myself, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, just nah, just got the app on the phone, the DJ app on the phone, so the boys just always have a tutu on it, and nah, it's good fun, eh? DJing is just a hobby, and I don't. 
still thinking if I want to take it seriously, but I, I certainly enjoy playing music for the boys. Well, we're going to set you up to come and do a Fresh and Fobby uh, mix uh, one Friday when, when you guys are playing back at home. Now, Dom, is there anything outside of rugby league that, uh, that, that you do? I mean, any modelling? <laughs> oh. Have you, have, guy, you, have you posed for any calendars? Yeah, stuff, damn it. <laughs> uh, no, just uh, oh, ages ago. Fuck. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own horn, but uh, Kevin, go on. Ladies, uh, jump onto our Facebook page and also on Twitter. Aye. There's there's a picture of uh, Dom with his of his shirt off, which reminded oh, me yeah, of. I'm trying to remember what this picture uh, last night, but we won't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> So, how does it feel coming back home? Was it was it always your plan to come back home and play for the Warriors? Um, I know eventually I'll come back, you know, to, um, you know, come play for the Warriors. Um, I was just um, fortunate enough to come back home um, earlier than, you know, expected. And, um, yeah, it's always been a dream of mine to play for the Warriors. So, I just um, took the opportunity um, from Matty and... They offered a contract, a uh, two-year contract, so um, I took him in, and it's good to be back and, you know, catch up with um, old-school friends and family, and, yeah, and, uh, missing, I miss the food, actually, of <laughs> the pork buns. And they didn't have that over <laughs> in the Gold Coast? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, food's um, not as good. They have all the mumsies over there, but they didn't have the <laughs> pork buns, eh? Yeah, that's it, eh? It's, yeah. A, it's interesting having both you and Peter here together because... You're virtually playing for the same spot on the on the bench for for the top team at the moment. So Peter Godner had the had the running the early part of the season, and now you've kind of stepped in. So friendly well, rivalry. Well, uh, you know, like I said, I don't like to toot my own horn, <laughs> but I am a better player. <laughs> nah, really, um, yeah, Peter's been playing well. Um, his um, uh, beginning of the season and stuff, and. No, unfortunately for him, he got injured and stuff. So, opened up, up the doors, you know, for well, other players. And yeah. um, I guess that's that's footy, man. You, you know, you've got to grab um, every opportunity that comes your way. And yeah, so it's the harsh reality because yeah, you guys are still kind of dealing with the um, the fact that Bill Tupou had to leave. You know, you yeah. sign up for the Raiders. I mean, Nani's been take the Muppet's been taking his opportunities that have been given and. I mean, pretty harsh for him to get kind of dropped at the last minute for, for yesterday's game. But is, is, it must be a good thing, though, knowing that, uh, yeah, yeah, you're in the team, but you got to watch your back because your yeah. brothers are trying to steal their spot from you. Yeah, Bill was, uh, yeah, he was in a tough position. Um, like, you know, meet with me and Nani there and um, Big Mani. Uh, uh, you know, um, Bill was playing New South Wales Cup and, you know, um, he, he's a first grade player and um, the only um, way he was going to play that was either in Australia or here but um, you know with um, me and Manu and Nani there um, playing good footy um, it's pretty tough to uh, crack it but you know um, big ups to um, Big Bill um, he took the opportunity with two hands and um, if he's not doing a big here he's going to be doing a bigger um, camera is it is it hard to play against guys that you've you've trained alongside because I'm, I'm thinking about State of Origin and how poor Nathan Merritt got <laughs> just got shown up by Greg Inglis but when you guys play uh, the Raiders next, will you guys be looking at exploiting what you guys know of his weaknesses, etc.? Yeah, of course. Uh, that's what we do every um, week. You know, we uh, try and exploit all the, um, um, what I say, all the um, the weak the, points, the weak points, yeah. and all the strong points. Uh, but um, no doubt, we we all know Bill because he's been at the club since he was what 15 years old, and just a shame seeing him leave and. He was a bit emotional when all the boy when he announced it to the boys, and it was just better for himself to go and you know for his, for his career and for his family. And I guess yeah, when we meet, probably meet on the field again, we'll probably be in another two, three weeks time when Canberra come over here. Um, hopefully we'll be playing and all the boys will probably rev up and yeah, see what they can. It, it feels like it's been quite an emotional season already. Who's the who's the most emotional in the Warriors? Who's who's the who's the most likely to start crying, like in a in a sad movie? Um, Name and shame, man. Don't hold back. Uh, probably Sean Johnson. Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Princess. Serious. Sean Johnson. Uh, nah, I don't really know. Yeah. Oh, 
This is agreeing with me. He thought it was agreeing with me. So. What a lie. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, All right, man. We're going to be back with the boys. We'll find out more about the game and also some of their uh, personal aspirations. No, 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 no. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? In your hood. Click on newfm.com.